Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to unbox some items that I found over at Diamond Art Gift. So as you can see I've got some tools today. So let's just dive in. I'm going to start with the smallest one and that is another diamond painting pen. So as you can see it's just this really cute kind of ombre pink and teal pen. I just really like the color so I thought I would get it and try it. So you just unscrew the lid here and it comes with a bunch of different tips. So you get a straightener, you get your single placer, I'll put that one in, you get a nine placer, a six placer, and a three placer, and then you get an angled tip. So you can use any and all of those that you want and you just slide it in there and now you have a diamond painting pen. I don't think this fits so you can't screw it back down all the way, but it does, you can screw it on there a little bit with the pin in there and that the tip is not seated all the way either. So you might be able to screw it down if the pin was seat, the tip was seated all the way. But yeah, super cool, cute pin and it was only $1.99 and you get all the tips that come with it. Okay, let me put the tips back in the bag and I will be right back with the next thing. This next one is trays. And I saw these little nesting trays and I was really curious. So you get four trays, but then these all just kind of nest inside this larger tray. And they all have a little spout so that you can pour the drills out. So you have this very large tray. Let me measure and see what size this is. It is 18 almost centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters. So what is that in inches? It is seven inches by almost five inches. So that's a decent size. And then, so you could have all four of these trays, but if you just wanted to use these and they have the little pour spouts on the end as well. Let me grab some drills and see how they line up. those line up pretty nicely and then like I said you've got the little pour spout here so you can just pour them back into your container and even the big one has a pour spout which I didn't realize when I ordered it so that's nice too that you have these and I like that they come in different colors with my older eyes I like to have a light colored tray for the darker colors it helps me pick out the trash drills more easily and I can use some of these darker colored trays for the lighter colors like whites and light pinks and that kind of thing. And also I'm noticing here on the edge where the pore spout is, they don't have one of the ridges. So you don't have drills getting trapped and the smaller trays are that way as well. So that's awesome. So all three of these, well, I guess four trays with the three nesting trays. So you get one big tray and then the four or the three nesting trays. These were $4.99, so I thought that was a decent price too. All right, then this last one was one I was kind of excited about because it kind of reminded me of a Harbor Freight system. So I wanted to get it and check it out and see. It's got a weird little divot here. So we've got two little clips. It's got a little tab here on the side for hanging, but it's got these little kind of square containers in here and they look like they would hold a lot of drills. So these are, let me measure these, these are less than five by five centimeters. And how tall is it? It is two centimeters tall. So what is that, less than an inch? Yeah, a little less than an inch tall, but lay it down how wide, almost two inches by two inches, so a pretty decent size. And there's 30 of these, so that's actually more than you get in the Harbor Freight because the Harbor Freight I think is only 24 plus the outer container. And it does also have stickers here in the bottom. I'm not gonna dig all of these out just to get to the stickers, you can see those. But these might actually, I think these might actually work a little bit better for me than the Harbor Freight, but we'll see. Maybe I'll try and kit something up into these and see how they work. Part of my problem with the Harbor Freight is drills getting stuck in the lid, but these lids aren't quite as big as the Harbor Freight. 
And the Harbor Freight only has 24, like I said, and this one has 30. So for a kit that has 28, 30 colors, a smaller kit, I would have enough containers to do that where I would have to use multiple Harbor Freight containers to do that. And this one was $13.99. And I'll stick links to all of these in the description box below. But yeah, I really wanted to try this one out and see how it worked. I think the clips here are a little more sturdy than what you would get with the Harbor Freight as well. So cool. All right, let me grab everything else. So just to recap, we've got our little Harbor Freight-ish <laughs> containers, but it has 30. And then we've got our nesting trays. We've got four trays, all with spouts. The three nest inside the one larger one. And then we've got our really cute ombre diamond painting pen. I can't wait to try some of these out and see how they work. I think the pen is cute. Anxious to try the trays out and just kind of see with this little extra missing side here, how that works. And I'm curious, I really, if I come across a kit that I've got less than 30 colors, I'm definitely gonna try and kit, use this to kit up next time. So maybe I'll go have a dig through some of my kits and see what I've got. There you go, guys. There's my latest diamond art gift haul. I will, as I said, stick links to all of these items down below so that you can check them out for yourself or anything else that might catch your eye while you're there. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.